I honestly don't know what I'm doing and I'm not following a tutorial. I'm just kind of winging it. So good luck to me. Hi, my name is Alyssa Diane. In today's video, I'm going to be attempting to make my own graduation outfit. We have face-to-face -face graduation in like one or two weeks. So right now, I'm scrambling to find an outfit, right? So the dress code is like dark colored pants heels and then like a formal blouse for the pants i already have like straight like trousers for the heels i'm just gonna use the black strappy heels i have for the top i don't know what i'm gonna wear for the top i have a few tops that i could wear but to be honest i was like pretty underwhelmed with them like i tried them on yesterday and i didn't like any of them i didn't think they were like good enough for graduation i mean you only graduate high school once right so might as well make it look like super nice what i want is a black glittery cropped corset style top with long ribbon straps. That's exactly what I want in words. I tried to look for it online, but I couldn't quite find the perfect top. Like, I found similar things, but I couldn't really find the exact thing I wanted. So, because I like to challenge myself, I like to give myself a hard time, I like struggling, I'm going to be attempting to make my own. The first thing I had to do was to plan the prototype. I have, like, these linen fabrics lying around. I bought them a while back for, like, a project I was thinking of, and then I never did it. So I have these lying around. So I thought I'd make the prototype with these. I have two options. I'm not sure if I'm going to be making both of the options, but technically I could. So for the first one, I want pleated draped top part and then like long ribbon straps, like a crop top type thing. If this works out, I might not make the second option anymore. For the second idea, the top part like here is like cinch and it also has long ribbon straps. Long ribbon straps is the main thing I really want. Like I want them long because I feel like the short ribbon just isn't enough for like a graduation vibe. But yeah, that is the plan for today so today my goal is to make at least one of the prototypes and then see if that works out this is going to be extremely messy and professional and not informative at all but i hope you enjoy so I decided to start by making the straps because that's what I thought I could do like the easiest without that much effort. But what you don't know is that this attempt was actually a mistake. Like I made the straps way too thin. So I actually had to repeat this part and then I pinned it and this part took surprisingly super long. <laughs> It's been one hour since I started this whole project thing and this is all I've done. This is one out of the four straps. Yes, this is excessively long, but honestly, it's like the right length. When you like ribbon it and everything, it's going to be the right length. Okay, so it's currently 5.25 p.m. which is like over an hour from when I first finished the first strap. And I would like to announce that I'm done with all of the straps. That's so many straps. Like four one-inch really long straps and then I made like this like half inch strap for the back. It took literally two hours just to make straight lines. But now I'm gonna make the body. So I'm gonna base the body off of this. Since the inside of the body won't really be seen when I'm wearing it, I'm gonna use a different colored fabric because I'm running out of the purple thread. I'm still gonna need this later, so I'm gonna save this for now. So I'm gonna use this for the body on the inside. As usual, I had to record like an aesthetically pleasing video of me like sewing. Well, at least I tried to. Because right when I started filming the part where I wanted it to be like an aesthetic B-roll clip, the needle and the thread, it got stuck. It got, I don't know, something happened and I had to like repeat the whole thing and then I was super pissed but yeah that is the reality of it all okay this is where we are at the moment we're getting somewhere eventually now i'm gonna put in the boning this video isn't a tutorial because i honestly don't know what i'm doing and i'm not following a tutorial i'm just kind of winging it but yeah i'm just gonna put in the boning like here just to add like structure to it just the inside of the like body and then this is the boning i'm gonna put in it's like i'm basing this formation of boning on the with jean like tube top thing so i hope it works the boning is in and it's messed up in more ways than I'd like to admit. It's like really messy and really bad. The important thing is that it's wearable. Now I'm just gonna sew in the loops here for the back of the closure. And then I'm gonna sew in the straps, which I forgot to do, so it's gonna be like super ugly on the inside. And to be honest, kinda went downhill from there. This was my current situation, and then I kinda messed up. I don't even know how to pleat. Like, I didn't even know what I was doing. Like, it wasn't even even. Like, I really struggled with this. I was kinda giving up, but eventually I made it. It's been three days since I last talked, and this is the final prototype. Um, I don't know how to feel about it, but to be honest, on camera right now, it looks pretty good. This is the idea of what I want. Like, this is exactly how long I want the straps to be as well. 
I want them to be super long. Um, they don't look even right now because they're not evenly tied, but they're like even in person. And then like for the pleats in the front, I planned on doing like a nicer pleat than this, but I low-key failed at pleating because I don't know how to pleat and I just like kind of winged it. It looks like crap. So for the final one, I probably won't pleat the bottom part. I'll just pleat this top part. So yeah, that is how this top turned out. I'm hoping that the final one turns out way better than this. Let's see, but I'm gonna show you the fabrics I got. This is the glitter fabric. It's literally laid out on the floor right now. I mean, it doesn't look super glittery from this angle, but I'll show you. Like, it's actually like super nice and glittery, and I think it'll look good in the light. I hope that the lighting at graduation looks good with it. The glitters low-key kind of fall off a bit, but I think it'll last through graduation and it's super stiff i got this from use silk which i used for the straps i already made them they're nice and high quality i literally spent like half the day yesterday making these and i just like literally took my time so that they would be nice and high quality and happy with the outcome so at least i like the strap i'm gonna use this linen as lining so it's more breathable than the satin because i feel like this is like super hot as a fabric that's the fabric right now i'm gonna work on the lining and then the outer and then I'll stitch them together and then let's see if it works. As I said earlier, I made the straps the day before this so now I'm just cutting the main piece for the inner lining. I'm cutting two 9 by 27 inch rectangles out of this linen fabric. I folded the fabric in half so that I could cut both pieces in one go. To be honest, this took forever to cut. This clip you're watching right now is like sped up four times. In hindsight, I wish I would've made it a little bit longer as in like I would've made it like 30 inches instead of 27 so that less of my back would be exposed but it's fine. It ended up being okay. After that, I just cut the boning to the length of the top. I also filed down the end that I cut so that the boning wouldn't poke at me while I wore the top. This is something I learned from making and wearing the prototype so I guess that helped out in that way. After that, I lined up the formation of the boning according to the prototype I made and then I sewed one centimeter pockets for the boning to go in. After putting in the boning, I realized that I made it too long so I had to trim it down and then file it down a little bit again. And then I just folded in the seams and sewed that side close with the top stitch. The sewing part is definitely the most satisfying part for me especially when the thread doesn't get jammed. After that, I finally got started with the glitter fabric. This fabric is really hard to work with because it's really messy. It was a struggle. Plus, I didn't really have a system for it. I just kind of winged it. I just made the pleats and prayed that they would look nice and even. Would not recommend. I'm definitely not a professional. Like I'm editing this right now and there's just a really long clip of me going back and forth trying to figure it out, trying to make it even, trying to make them look nice. To be honest, the fabric being super stiff really helped me make the pleats stick because I could barely make them stay on the purple fabric I used for the prototype, so that was nice. I was eventually satisfied with my imperfect pleat job and I cut the fabric. So I turned the fabric upside down, drew a straight line across it, and began to cut the fabric. I would love to unmute this part because the cutting sounds are low-key satisfying. It literally sounds like I'm cutting through paper. And you know what? That's kind of what the fabric feels like. It feels like glitter paper that's kind of fabric-y but I can't unmute it because Save Your Tears by The weekend is legitimately blaring in the background while I cut this. Here's what it sounds like. But yeah, that is kind of the process of how I made the top. I used the flash on my phone so you can see all of the glitters. I might still mess it up when I sew it but essentially all I have to do is sew here, 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 and here like a whole rectangle. Just a whole rectangle. I think that's kind of easy to not mess up. I had to use a binder clip instead of a regular pin because the fabric is literally like sandpaper. When I say that there's glitter everywhere, I literally mean everywhere. Like, this is going to be, like, such a mess to clean up. And yeah, that was how I made my graduation top. I had absolutely no idea what I was doing, but I was still able to pull it off in under 48 hours. Well, minus the two-day break I took. It isn't perfect, but I'm still really, really proud of it. Anyway, time for the final reveal. In three, two, one. Happy graduation, this is my outfit of the day. Graduation fit check. I can't do a proper fit check here. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, bye!